Today we're going to look at a fun little um, program called Boxes. Uh, probably won't be installed by default, but will most likely be in your repositories for most major distros. Uh, so if you're on Linux Mint or Ubuntu or Debian, uh, you can use Aptitude or Apt-Get, whichever you prefer, uh, and install Boxes. Obviously on some systems you'll have to do sudo, or others you'll have to log in as root. Once it's installed, it's a very simple program to use, but first we need some text that we're going to uh, put into this application. So let's open up our text editor. We'll just create a text file called msg, message text, and we'll say, welcome to films by chris.com. And we'll say the power of open source. Just a simple little message. We'll save it. <clears throat> and of course we can cat it out. And there is the message from inside that text file. Now, if we use boxes, all I have to do is type boxes and the name of the file. And you can see it put a little border around the box here. Or a little border, a box border around our text here. Nothing too fancy, but there's other designs that you can use. So let's type the same command out again. And we'll do dash D for design. And we'll try, how about mouse? So now we have a little mouse ASCII art holding up a sign that has our text in it. Let's do another one. Let's try dog. Oh, there's dog holding a sign with our words in it. How about cat? Boy, girl, how about Santa, how about cap girl to get a girl wearing a Santa cap. Hey, so how do I know all of all these different designs? Simple, just type boxes with a dash L and it gives you a list of all available designs and you can scroll through them and you can see their names right there. So you can go through and find one you like and use it. Uh, and this can also come in handy with certain things like uh, commenting out text. So if you want to put like a header in your script file you can use this little one here and it will put a little comment tags all the way around your uh, first few lines if you do want to do so. Uh, another thing, you can also pipe in information. So let's just cat out our message text into boxes. There you go. We can do dash D and we'll do dog again. So you can pipe in information. Let's also try this. Uh, Figlet or Toilet, two similar uh, programs, uh, both of which I've gone over. Which uh, Let me show you what that does without boxes. Basically, uh, oh. I forget, uh, let me just cat it into uh, Figlet. So there's our text really big. And you can cat out or Figlet the information into boxes. Although since this is such a large amount of text, I'm betting it's not going to look right. But let's give it a try anyway. Just to see if we can do it. We'll do dog, enter. Oh yeah, it kind of made everything look funky, but it is possible. In some cases, it will look all right. The problem is just that it's going off the side of the screen, so it's putting extra lines in there that we don't need. But you can pipe information into boxes. So I just wanted to give you a quick, simple look at this fun little program called Boxes that can be useful for not only just creating ASCII art around your text, but as I said, you can use it to comment out some text. So uh, I thank you for watching. Please visit the links in the description, uh, and uh, I hope that you have a great day.